Oh, well, Bridgehaven, pretty amazing place. My friends and family were so worried about me. Oh, mom, ended up in a trailer court. <laughs> and then they came to visit and were like, oh my God, we're jealous. <laughs> Situated on the bank of the Russian River, Bridgehaven, California can be glimpsed as you cross the Jenner Bridge heading south on Highway 1. I'm Jamie O'Brien. I live here at Bridgehaven. It's been in my family. I am third, fourth generation, and I uh, absolutely love it here. And I am Alona. Migrated to United States from Ukraine, and somebody wanted to show me this beautiful place called Russian River. Started working at Safeway. Met my husband there who was working at Safeway. We started dating like a year later, and that was it. Julius Caesar Nathanson was my mother's grandfather, and in the early 30s, he found this parcel of land when the WPA was starting to build the bridge going across the highway. First came the bridge, then came the haven. They built a small general store, gas station, a small restaurant, and a barn that was a garage where you could go in and have service done on your car. After the bridge was built, my great-grandfather was able to purchase the ferry. And his wife, whose name is Charlotte, but she was called Lotta Joy because she was a Lotta Joy, was very happy with the ferry because that way her husband could have his buddies smoke cigars, drink scotch, and play poker. Not in the house. <laughs> Bringing a lot of joy to current residents are the extensive gardens that Alona and her mother Valentina have created throughout the property. It's always been my hobby work with the plants. I grew up in Ukraine near one of the most beautiful botanical gardens. Alona and her mom just like are amazing gardeners. I love to walk around and see what they've done. I'm Douglas DeVivo. I had been in Son around Sonoma County since I was 18. You know, always came to Goat Rock. Never heard about Bridgehaven. And one day I just drove down. And like a lot of people do, they drive down and they want to stay here. And the idea of a trailer and just being able to fix it up without many rules about it is pretty darn nice. Everybody's always fixing up their place, but a lot of recycled materials and uh, makeshifty stuff, but it just makes it charming. I have an art gallery studio in Guerneville on Main Street, Blue Door Gallery, and uh, it's like a 15-mile drive along the Russian River every day. It's a beautiful drive. This is the uh, trailer J10 at Bridgehaven. California. I've lived here for almost 12 years. A series of unfortunate events left Mary Livingston, a single mom, looking for a home. And so I came here and paid $5,000 for this gem of a trailer that needed a lot of work. And as it turned out, I found a really sweet community to live in. And now I'm retired and I just make things and garden and create beauty around me. And this is such a perfect palette. This is a 53 Spartan Imperial, which they made airplanes in World War II, and then after the war they transitioned to trailers. And this is the last year where everything's curved. Porthole windows, and it came here when it was three years old, so it has been in this spot a long time, and it is solid. One story that people love to hear is, I moved in here in 2010, and neighbor moved in about 2011, we lived next door to each other for eight years and then fell in love and the wall came down between us and now we live side by side in our respective trailers. When he first came with his girlfriend, I said to Jamie, I don't think you should rent to them. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm married to him. <laughs> Just calling him a tennis kind of, I don't know, too official and not neighborly. Yeah, uh, it detracts from what we want to be a, a friendly, small community. Exactly. Yeah, we're all neighbors. Yeah, it's, it doesn't, it feels like we're all kind of in this wonderful place together. That's what I feel. The time that we've put in is uh, enjoyed by everyone. Some people don't quite see the same vision that we see, you know, how rustic do we want to be or how upscale do we want to be? I think we found a nice medium. 
Yeah, I think so.